Is a soap trick true? It is hard to be in jail. Is it hard to maintain a relation while in jail? I'm in prison for murder. Ask me anything. I'm in prison for murder. I can provide proof upon request to verify who I am, but would prefer to stay anonymous. Keep in mind, since I'm in prison the person running this ask me anything for me has to gather questions and then wait for my response. Please be patient. Nothing is off limits, so ask me anything. What's the hardest part of adjusting to life in prison? The hardest part is getting used to other inmates and their underlying rules and routines. Was it an accidentally murder or planned homicide? If planned how do you do it? I was not a part of the planning. I was also told that the crime was only going to be a robbery not a murder. Was the person whom you invaded their home an innocent unknown to you? Person? Or was the person a known acquaintance to you? What were you hoping to get off the person? I knew of this person, but didn't know them personally. I was held at gunpoint and forced into my role. Not that it excuses my part in it, it just is what it is. They were looking for money. No offense at all. I don't intend to minimize my involvement I just want to tell the whole story as it was slashes. I was not kidnapped a few days before the night of the crime I was held at gunpoint and told I was playing my role in this. I was told if I were to go to the authorities I would die as would everyone I loved. I was assigned a public defender who made a pitiful attempt at using that as part of my defense, but when the plea was offered I took it because the judge believed I could have gone to the authorities beforehand. He isn't wrong, I also could have gone in the days after the crime was committed, and I did not. I'm in no way shape or form innocent. You mentioned serving 7 years, do you find them getting easier as time goes on? Does a part of you not want to get out? Are you afraid of going back into society if possible? It gets easier, and it gets harder at the same time. It's easier because it becomes your normal, but the longer I'm here the more I long to be home with my loved ones. No part of me doesn't want to get out. There are parts of going back into society that scare me. Life is already different. My loved ones try to keep me as updated as possible. I'm very lucky in the fact that I have an amazing support system outside, and I know if at any point I'm overwhelmed or frightened I can reach out to them. Are you guilty as charged? That's subjective. I did not murder anyone, nor did I have that intention. However, I did participate in a crime that lead to someone's death by another person's hands. What crime did you commit? I was charged with second degree murder and lawful imprisonment. First degree home invasion, armed robbery and a felony firearms charge. What was the justice process like? How did it differ from your expectations? How did you reconcile with family members or other loved ones? Do you have any plans for yourself in prison? For example, educational or other self-bettering goals? The justice process was a lot more frustrating than I anticipated. I know that sounds vague, but it's what stood out to me. Just to clarify, do you mean my family members slash loved ones? I was honest about my involvement with them, I apologized to them, and made sure they understood this was my choice, not this. I've been in prison for going on 7 years now, I have taken every educational option offered to someone with my sentence. I'm the head of several groups in my prison, and when pandemic isn't a thing I also run a small band, and help other prisoners learn musical instruments. I would love to get enrolled in college, but that isn't an option in my prison for people with my sentence. Is the guy who did committed the murder that are charged within the same prison as you? No. None of my co-defendants are in the same prison that I am. I'm dying to know. Do you ever get bored in prison? If not, what do you do for entertainment? I try my very hardest not to get bored that makes my time go by so much more slowly. I work out religiously, I practice Buddhism, I crochet, I play the guitar, I have a garden that I tend to, I play dominoes in pinnacle, and I listen to music. 
I also have several loved ones that I communicate with regularly. I'm wondering how well connected you are to the world. Obviously, you can do and ask me anything on Reddit, but what about the rest? Are you scared of eventually getting released and suddenly stand in a world that moved on without you? Like the stories of people being completely overwhelmed by cars and other technological advances. Are you scared of relapsing back to crime because you don't get good opportunities for preparing for the life after while in prison? I speak to my friend whose account this is every day at least once a day, and a handful of other friends slash family just as regularly. I'm nervous about life being so different when I get out, but I know I have a strong support system that has made it clear they are here to help me. I also watch TV enough that I get bits of advancement here and there. This crime is the only crime I have ever committed, and it will be the only one I ever commit. Are you sorry about what you did? I'm filled with remorse and regret. I know that the only way is forward, but I still pain for the family of the man and the others that were involved that night. Why are you doing this? How are you answering the person typing this all up decently efficiently? I hope you are well, well wished. I'm doing this because a lot of people have misconceptions about what prison is like, and the only way things can change is by starting the conversation. My friend and I talk on the phone regularly, and we communicate via a prison email system. It's not instant sometimes it glitches. I have also already answered a lot of these questions from them, or their friends, so they know the answers themselves. How much longer are you in for? Also how do the guards treat you there? My sentence was life with the possibility of parole. I will go up for parole in 3 years. There are good and bad guard slash days. You learn how to interact with people here. How is the food in there? Are there some nice people? Do you have any friends? The food is just that, nourishment. There are nice people, and I do, have one really great friend I met while here. I have other acquaintances of course but none I would consider a friend. If you don't mind me asking these, please feel free to say you're uncomfortable doing so if you are. What is your socioeconomic background and your race? Do you think those factors affected your sentencing and or how you're treated in prison? Have you or anyone you know, been in solitary confinement? What is that actually like? My socioeconomic background was low middle class. I'm Caucasian. The only reason I think my race played a part is it was a multiracial crime, and it happened when BLM very very first ever took off. So I think the city didn't want to seem racist during an election year for the judicial branch in the county. I have been in solitary confinement. It's rough. It is so rough. You get a shower once every three days, shackled. No contact with anyone besides those officers escorting you for however long they want to keep you there. Is the soap trick true? Is it hard to be in jail? Is it hard to maintain a relation while in jail? Dropping the soap is true. In fact you learn very quickly not to bend at the waist, to pick anything up at any time. Squat only. Do you think your sentence was fair, or do you think you deserve to be released? Great question. I do think my sentence was a fair one. A tough one, but fair. A person's life was taken, and there is no way that I could think that I have the power or authority to decide how much time is enough time in prison. So, whether or not I get released, that is up to the parole board in the public. It's not a question of whether or not I deserve being released. I don't deserve anything. I would like to be released. But I don't feel as if it's something I deserve. What are the biggest misconceptions about prison that other people think? Well, one is that it's not as violent as you would think. Prison is portrayed as some place where people get randomly beaten and raped. Granted, there are fights. A lot of these fights are not random. People do messed up things to other people all the time in here. So, fights happen and rapes are highly uncommon. I've been down 6 years, and have seen one, and heard of only one more. Another one is not everyone has tattoos. I don't have any. 
If you personally have anything that you would like to ask, feel free and I will tell you how it is in my prison system. I work with juveniles, some of whom will go on to prison from juvenile justice facilities. What advice would you give guys, usually 18 or 18.5 years old, entering prison for the first time? Be careful. Stay away from the drugs, alcohol, gambling, and, especially, the gangs. Gangs tend to try to pick up new recruits by offering protection. They will use these recruits to do their dirty work, stealing, stabbing, fighting, etc. And if you don't do what they ask they usually resort to harming them. They will get much more respect staying neutral, like myself, than becoming a gang member. But, things are different in different prison systems. So, I can only speak for my prison system. How old are you? And you mention you have a family. Is that a blood family, siblings, parents, etc? Or is that also a partner slash kids family? I'm between 25 and 35, for anonymity sake. I have no children. My fiancé K left me when I came to prison. I have siblings parents, other various friends and family. Have you ever met your victim's family? If so, what did you say to them? If not, what would you like them to know? During my sentencing the victim's sister actually spoke. What she said was that she and her family don't blame me for the murder, and she believes that my life was threatened to participate. They all just wish I would have said something to the police. I believe that you can't get better than that. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe. For more videos.